Welcome back, I guess, to the Peach Pit. It's been uh, on a two-week hiatus as I've gone on vacation, did my fitness competition where I placed second place. For all my fans out there, thanks for the support. Um, for anyone's curious, I am doing another one November 11th. So yeah, I'm gonna get it again. But anyways, here at the Peach Pit, <clears throat> we're gonna start to work on some segments, uh, I suppose. Uh, we can call it, what the heck is that? Um, I just unwrapped this beauty, okay? A little Cadillac wrapped her out of the Christmas box. And we set it up here. This is called, for anyone who knows, uh, it's a glued hand developer. Um, very common tool in the CrossFit realm. That's where you'll most likely see. You don't really see too much of it in commercial gyms. Um, however, this tool is excellent, excellent for strengthening up posterior chain. Um, glutes, hammies, low back, and um, you know, preparing you for movements that are going to work that compound aspect. So how you set this up on the dromedaire, hey? Um, yeah, that's, the, that's some part of the deterring uh, aspect of why people don't use, use machines. So we'll show you how to set this up and then we'll show you a couple moves on it. First of all, they should both have an adjustable portion here to, for your legs to fit into the uh, machine as well as your feet to sit between the pads to rest comfortably. Now this has been preset for me, so I'll uh, make the adjustment for our next exercise. The first one we're gonna work on is a, is a low back or glute extension. This is a variation of a uh, 45 degree angle back extension. And the only difference is that now the, the angle, the torque angle is at 90 degrees versus 45 which puts additional stress on lower back or concentration on lower back, but lots of uh, extension for glutes. How we set that up, feet are gonna go back into the pad and you wanna get your hips, so the front of your hips to the top of the dromedaire hump here. We're trying to angle ourselves over top of the bump while keeping feet flat on the back of the bench and bringing ourselves to a parallel position. You should feel your low back and your glutes tighten up as you support yourself in that flat angle. If you want a little bit more in your hamstrings, just bring yourself a little bit higher. You'll also feel a little bit more in your erectors, a little bit higher through that lower back and spine. And squeeze. You can vary it up by hold, creating holds, um, changing your rep range. But that's a solid exercise to do to help strengthen your plank to help finish your terminal extension and in your, in your posterior chain focused exercises. If you were to adjust the foot position here and take it a little bit closer, another exercise that gets performed quite a bit in the gym with, uh, without uh, an actual tool to support it is the, you know, it's been known as the hamstring waterfall, uh, glute ham raise, Nordic curl. So you'll set that one up, be, bring the pad in a little bit tighter, the plate in a little bit tighter. You want to be able to set your knees at a high position on the pad, and then you're focusing on flexing at your hips, locking your hamstrings in at 90 degrees, and then flexing back or lifting back into an erect position. Again, my posterior chain is on, I'm in full extension, and right now I feel quite a bit of activation in my hamstrings. <clears throat> Flat, drive your heels back into the pad, flex your hamstrings to get up. So we have our Nordic curl. We have a couple different variations that we can try here on the glute ham raise machine. But next time you see that and you ask yourself, what the heck is that? Just remember these couple tips that we just set you up with. Wayne Bridge, working here at the Peach Pit in our new spot. You guys may not be able to see it because it's trash right now. We're fixing it up to make it look like a the Taj Mahal on Monday, but this was the first inaugural video here. So check out this stuff, add it to your program, and then we'll catch up with you later.